three weeks ago, I think this is actually the fourth week technically, I got a job at Red Robin and it was to be line cook. Now I've always been interested in cooking and you know, even knowing you could watch Hell's Kitchen or what, Kitchen Nightmares, uh, all these cooking shows, experiencing it was so much different. I thought there would be a moment where I'm cleaning the plate, making sure everything's precise, everything looks good with speed. So let me, let me start you off with the problems, where, where, where the problems started first. I go in, I get hired, they tell me, they give me this piece of paper and it says, when I work, 5 p.m. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, through whatever time. And then I'm like, okay, I show up Friday, Monday, Tuesday. The first day, I can tell you not. It wasn't that busy. I made maybe two, three burgers. And then the guy that, w well, I wouldn't even say training me. He just kind of, it was just kind of thrown upon him. He's like, okay, we ain't that busy. So Paris, go do some dishes. So I go do dishes. And then eventually like 30 minutes later, he's like, okay, that's all you are phased and I'm like oh does that mean I can go home and he's like yeah I go home I come in the next day that day it's someone different it's a girl forgot her name and she's basically like oh this is what we do in the morning this and that and kind of prep this is how you pan meat and I'm like oh okay she teaches me how to pan meat and stuff etc that's done Wednesday I had to close and I'm like and it wasn't that bad once again both on all three of those days I was cleaning dishes. I, I wish I was lying to you. On the third day, it was a different guy named Q. Q, I hate him. If he somehow sees this video, I hope you know I hate you, man. I get in there, and it's my third day there, and I'm not even lying to you. They haven't taught me anything. They, the first thing they say is, okay, do you know what your big three is? And they're, I'm like, uh, no. And he's, they're like, it's this right here, the big three. And it took me, I think, week two to register what big three meant. Big three means mayo, lettuce, tomato. And it didn't register because no one told me. They just said, do you know what your big three is? And I'm like, no, it's this. Oh, okay. It didn't register what the hell they were talking about. I, we get a rush. This is the first time I was closing. It was five to 11 AM. And it was the first time I've ever done this before. I'm on the line for maybe an hour maybe an hour give, give or take an hour eventually it gets so busy they kick me off the line and they're like okay Paris we need to speed up you just go do the dishes okay I'm not gonna talk back I go do the dishes right Q then comes and is like Paris just so you know you're gonna need to go faster on the dishes I'm like okay I'll try even knowing in my head I was thinking I'm not I didn't sign up to be a dishwasher I didn't sign up to be doing and the other thing is they didn't teach me how to exactly do the dishes I know how to do dishes because I worked at Arby's I know like the thing I didn't know where to put them I try asking and I'm and he's like you need to go faster and I'm like I don't know where some of these dishes go and he's like that goes over there he's like pointing this goes that way and this goes in the cold side what does that mean? I close and I get out late. It, it's late. I also forgot to mention the reason why I think me and Q's relationship is a little bit strained is I forgot what day it was but he asked me if I could close. Without thinking I said yes and then I was supposed to leave at 8 and then at like 9 30 I was like I mean at the whole time I was trying to think of a way to get out of it right and at like 9 30 I was like I went up to him and I was like Q I don't think I can close and he's like oh why? and I was like plans I realized I well I mean I literally just said I just remembered that I have to do something and then I think that's when our relationship kind of hit the dumpster it's Thursday I don't have my schedule like I said they gave me a piece of paper that just told me the days I work and then some times on it that I showed up it's Thursday oh not only that on Wednesday I also want to mention I worked 5 through through 12 but apparently they changed my schedule which I didn't know they did this yet they didn't no one told me and I didn't have the app that they that they needed to tell me how to get into they changed my schedule to 4 to 12. I was in the shower getting ready for work. I get a call. I call the number back and they're like, hey, Bears, it's cute. He's like, you planning on showing up to work? And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm on my way right now. So I'm like, I get dressed. I bring the piece of paper just in case he asked me. And I I go in and he's like, I'm like, just so you know, they, they didn't tell me I didn't work. And he's like, oh, okay. No one told me. It's, it's fine. She had told me on the phone. What do you want me to do? And he's like, yeah, you can clock in and go do dishes again. And you know, once again, doing dishes. Thursday then. And I'm like kind of stressed because I don't know when I work. I don't know if I'm off. So I call it like, 
10 and it's Nicole the person who hired me and like the assistant manager and she's like oh um I'll get back to you on that because I and I and I tell her oh no at 1 a.m. because I was so stressed I don't want to even say stressed I just can't sleep when I have something on my mind okay so I like I'm like I literally opened the app I reset my password and my username and that somehow works I get an email literally I'll, I'll show you guys the email it's like hey you reset your password and email here's your username and what do you want your new password to be and I reset the password and I get in that's how I got in they never told me how to get in they just told us the app we have to download and they didn't even tell us when we were gonna get in I get in and it just says I work third I work Wednesday Thursday Friday and it also says oh hey your schedule has been changed by the way but I did since I wasn't in the system since I never logged in I didn't get an email the app and it says that's that's when I find out when I actually work so then I'm kind of annoyed right cuz I, I then have worked this whole week and no one has told me and I call and she's like yeah you do you work five through you know blah 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 the whole week constantly dishes 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 week two <sighs> I do dish again over and over again and it's like the next day or something and like we get a rush again and once again they kick me off the line or like no someone comes and helps me and then they kick me off line and then I'm doing dish again and then it's the next day this time I'm on the line a rush comes and it's a new guy and I forgot his name for Fernando or something or Armando I don't know he's like okay let's you know peppercorn yeah that's this one I'm like okay that's the peppercorn he actually was more helpful than Q this past week and a half right he's like okay this is the peppercorn one you know you can tell by like the peppers and then he's like this is the thousand islands it's a thicker it's thicker it has like kind of pickles in it whatever right he's explaining the sauces to me right because I would get confused sometimes. I'd be like grabbing a sauce and I'm like, is this that? Like they didn't even tell me what the sauces were. They just were like, it's that one. It's that one. It's that one. How am I supposed to? Whatever. <clears throat> Ooh. I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Even now. Bonsai. Big three. Boom, boom, pow. This person wants a gluten-free bread whatever i'm doing a decent job he then is like hey paris can you go get some more plates and i'm like yeah i'm on it i go to get more plates i grab the plates i bring them back and then cues on the stove like making the burgers and i don't have the burger ready right because i had to go get plates i'm like oh and then i do it real fast i put it down he's like okay he's like paris you have to have that done like you know when, when, when we're doing burgers and by the way i made like six like buns there were six buns already done right because it was a rush there were six buns already done what, what was it there's Six, six buns already done and like somehow he skipped like over like six empty buns and got to the bonsai which i don't know how like how how, how is the bonsai done before the rest like it was it was a well done burger too more time passes and I, i'm slightly annoyed in my head right because i'm like and then the guy also he's like yeah we, you should have had that done and i'm like how are you going to ask me to get plates i go get plates you tell me to get plates and then you don't cover me you're gonna tell me to do something and then talk like like as if you didn't know what i was doing and i was ahead oh by the way i was ahead and you know the rush kind of slows down and then they kick me off the line because i'm going too slow and i'm on dmo again which is dishes by the way they call it dmo i forgot to mention dmo stands for don't murder others learned it the hard way more time passes some other people come the two other trainees so one of the trainees i think his name is dom i haven't seen him in a while dom i don't i honestly want to say he's on my same level and then there's the other guy jesus i think and he he's levels above us i'll i'll, I'll say that with my chest he knows where dishes go he knows how to prep certain stuff he knows a lot more than me and the other guy know no yeah i so i'm on dish they say okay put away some of the dishes they send me on break which is 30 minutes by the way in arizona heat 100 degree weather they send me on a break i go in my car i call drag and i'm just complaining to him right my 30 minute break is come is done i go back in and the other trainees were there with me right they're like okay get back on you know dish i go back on dish he's on dish with me and then dom burgers uh, on making patties that's when they pull me aside q and nicole but q's is like paris can i talk to you for a second i'm like yeah so i get off dmo and i go and talk and he's like paris we've noticed that you haven't improved as fast as the others and haven't no they, they, they didn't even say that you haven't made any progress <laughs> That's literally what they said. You haven't made any progress. Others, the others are learning and you aren't. And then Nicole, which is my fault. Nicole is hot and she's distracting. I blame them. And honestly, if it was just Q talking to me, I would have, I would have actually been like, yeah, because you're a terrible teacher. You don't know what you're doing. But I, once again, you know, Nicole was there and I was like, I, she was even like, is there anything that we could be doing differently when training? Is there a reason why? Like, it's a little harder. And I was like, no, it's just me. I literally put the blame all on myself. <laughs> it's, it's, 
Which I mean that that's my fault. She literally asked me what, what they could have done differently. I actually have a funny story. One time when I was actually closing with her and I was about to clock out and she asked me like, Oh Paris, is this yours? And I completely blacked out and stuttered and was like, uh, uh, no, no. And I completely forgot to, uh, to clock out. I went outside, walked like a little bit to my car and then I realized, I asked myself, did I clock out? Because she just absolutely stun locked me. They said, and then this is what they say. They say, you're kind of slowing down everything. That's what Q's base is saying. So we're going to have you on the on the dish. And I'm like, I mean, you mostly have me on dish. But I didn't say that. I was thinking that in my mind. I'm like, okay, yeah. And like, if you want to and want to put like effort in, then you can learn the line when we're not busy. I was just in my brain. It just, it just, there's things that just like put me off, right? Like if I get annoyed enough, I'll speak up. Once again, Nicole was there and I was like, okay, yeah. So I just, I'm like, okay. And it's like, and I'm like, can I go? And they're like, yeah, you can go. And I, and I leave, right? Go back on dish. And then I call my mom. I'm telling her like all this stuff that's happening. She's like, well, he's got to talk. And I'm like, eh, ugh, right. And then they, you know, they take a uh, Jesus. I really, I want to say a yeah, Jesus off the line, off the, dish and he goes to make the burgers and stuff which you know whatever so i'm on dish by myself they're on the line and they get hit with a rush right dom is doing like the breads and the sauces and stuff and there's literally ev everything stacked q's on the dish uh what, what's the from monando's on the dish the other managers on the dish everyone is on on, on the dish is on the line and it, i can tell you at the end it took him 30 minutes to do a burger not only did dom not get kicked off the line dom didn't get kicked off the line the, he had like 50 not 50 that's dramatic he had like six bucks that were made incorrectly so they were just on the side like and etc and it annoyed me right because i won't even be five minutes into a rush and i get kicked off and i'm i'm training right i'm i'm, I'm trying and i get kicked off the line you can't learn if you get kicked off in the line of heat the same thing like when i was i don't understand it at arby's everywhere walmart i'd be stressed right but they would keep you in it because if you aren't in that situation then you aren't going to improve it takes 30 minutes to get a burger out they none of them get to pulled aside even the, even the two trainees that were there none of them gets pulled aside dom i guess had the clock out i was leaving at nine and i maybe dom was leaving at eight or nine right and it, it's eventually lot nine and i'm like hey it's nine i did put the dishes away can i clock out now and the manager that's there is like she's like a different manager um yeah just ask what they want on the line and i was just like okay but inside i was fuming because not only did you guys I don't know if she knew about it, but not only did two managers push me aside, not push me aside, bring me into an office to discuss how slow I am and how they'll have me on DMO more. And then Dom, Dom was on the line. How are you going to have him? He left, uh, nice guy. He leaves and he, he, you can like, you get a free mail. So he used his free mail and he's waiting for it. Why wouldn't you ask him to stock up before he left? Why wouldn't you ask him to stock up? before he left instead you put the like why me why why i i, I just don't understand it. i still don't understand it like like why like and i would have been fine with it if we didn't just have that conversation and he was just there on the line got done with the rush didn't understand it so i leave at like 9 30 or something or 9 38 i'm pretty sure a few days pass and like we're, we're we're here right i've been on dish almost every single day i for the first time closed hot side and i didn't know what was going on i, I could i kind of felt like they were talking behind my back but whatever i, I don't care and i'm like closing down that's how i burn my hand and etc i'm closing it down learning new stuff and it, it was actually nice to you know not have to do the dishes and be on the dish for like an eternity but like it's been three weeks and that's the thing and i know some burgers i know the the royal lettuce tomato goes on the bottom mayo on both sides i know some burgers right and i know some things but i don't have any of the knowledge i'm not improving because i'm not on the line so what if they put me on the line and then i'm slow and then then i'm back to where where i am i just i just don't understand it the other thing is i forgot to mention they've changed my schedule so many times i can't tell you they, they don't ask you when when you when they change your schedule and she's like oh just because i pulled her aside to ask her a question because if i didn't she would have never said anything and she's like oh just so you know your schedule changed so you know in case you know don't know and i'm like oh, okay it's fine five instead of six or something i don't know exactly it wasn't that big of a difference and i'm like okay it's fine i go home right went home at nine like i said thing is i'm a night owl so usually at night i'm you know active editing doing something and i'm getting ready for bed and i get a notification my schedule changes they change it literally i think they changed it at like one they changed it to 9 a.m 
to 3 p.m. Th that's basically what it looks like. They changed my schedule and I'm up, right? If I wasn't up, I wouldn't have seen that and I wouldn't have been to work. I come in, and I'm kind of annoyed, right? And so I don't really complain. I just get the job done and I'm done. I'm literally an hour and 30 minutes into my shift. Okay, Paris, go on your 30 minute break. And I'm like, and I, and I'm like, do I have to go on my 30 minute break? And they're like, yeah, labor laws. And like, he said, and I'm like, oh, okay. Just, and he's like, put away and restock and then you can go. So I go do that. And then, but then they're also like this, which is so sketchy, so sketchy. They're like, oh, and by the way, we want you to change to like HOA training instead of line cook which is what like it says on the schedule so i put it in and if you don't put it in you need like a manager login so then i do that right it clocks me out and then it clocks me in literally i think two days ago i got this thing and i didn't really understand it so i said yes which i shouldn't have said don't pull at me you forgot to clock out is that true do you approve this time change and it basically took off three hours that I worked because it said I got off at 12. No, it said I got off at four when I actually got off at nine, which is ridiculous, which is ridiculous. So it took off like hours and I got, I'm pretty sure got taken off my paycheck because you know, the time card got modified. How much you get paid? I quit last week. The job was her horrible. The pay was 14 and it's a one person job, which is true. I don't know. I get paid line cut because they hired me for that, but it's just dishwashing and you maybe you get lucky to for them for you to have a trainee like because i mean i'm a trainee apparently and then like you two like knock off the dishes but it, that barely happens and the servers were horrible dump and go which that's true i you know like when people are like oh that one employee that i like that one manager i like i had servers that i liked because if they cleaned off their dishes and then there would just be some that just stack on and they would cake on literally i dropped a plate at someone's feet because the servers ketchup and mustard caked on the plates and i'd be trying to drag the plates towards me and then it would just like ricochet because it's stuck of course because they just stack it on each other and like what if someone Someone got injured like what mm. i'm so happy to have the opportunity of tried it out to to have tried it out because without trying it out i wouldn't have realized how much i hate it hey paris we, we need silver okay okay we need glasses okay okay paris we need small bowls okay okay there was no breather the other day literally yesterday nicole my time reads to get off at three and then come back at four so i'm thinking i have an hour off i ask a line cook and he's like i'll talk to the managers i asked nicole she's like i'll talk to fernando i asked fernando she did you did nicole phrase you out asked nicole and then i talked to nicole and i'm like she said you have to phase me out or something i don't know and i don't know what the hell is happening and neither does she so then i go back to dish and then like an hour pass and she comes back to me and she's like okay paris just put away these dishes and i can phase you out which i've been phased like two times and every time they say that they send me home so i'm thinking i get to go home right and i'm like okay i can last another day at this job right then he comes and is like okay paris nicole says do them dishes and then you can take your break which are kind of different things isn't it so then i am doing that right i put away the dishes and he luckily walks out and i'm like okay do i just clock out and leave for now and he's like nah just do the break button the 30 minutes and i'm like oh great <laughs> 30 minutes of of, of what of, of what yeah fantastic used as a slave i've my ancestors died for this back making 16 ads making men mcdonald's wage at a job that sucks like at least if i was at mcdonald's i honestly think it would be better before i end this video i do want to say there are a few servers and not even <laughs> my position but like annabelle i remember her name i finally learned it after three weeks she works like cold side which is weird because they still cook stuff but she has helped me a lot uh dishwashing everything she even knows how to like close down the hot side she helped me do that yesterday was teaching me and she's very helpful and uh even knowing i'm super slow which makes me think maybe uh, i got something that hasn't been diagnosed yet but she's been very helpful there's been some servers that even help me with like some dishes like will tell me how to do something a little bit faster which is very nice but so it's not all bad there's some really nice people that work there except for Q <laughs> but there's some really nice people that work there that um I haven't given credit to but I only remember Annabelle's name but there's some really nice people I will say I don't know if all locations have that but at least this one has nice enough people to say hello or thank you for dropping off some dishes Whoa.